Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to do a really quick um, update on my uh, Shiseido White Lucent lan uh, line that I've been using for my dark spots. So that's why I'm not wearing any makeup, because um, I wanted to show you uh, what it looks like without any makeup on. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've been using it. Uh, so it's actually, I think, been more than a couple weeks. It's been almost a month. Uh, and what I had done was just gotten the trial size of everything in the Shiseido White Lucent line. Um, I got the brightening cleansing foam, and then I would follow that up with the uh, brightening the softener, so it's like the toner thing, it's a softener. And then during the day, I would put... Uh, the White Lucent Intensive Spot Targeting Serum, uh, followed with the Brightening Moisturizing Emulsion. And then I would use my own SPF uh, sunscreen for that. At night I would do the same thing, but instead of the Brightening Moisturizing Emulsion, I would kind of rotate between the Bio Performance Advanced Super Revitalizing Whitening Formula Cream, and the Brightening Massage Cream. I got all these little testers. The uh, White Lucent Brightening Moisturizing Cream is really thick and greasy. So I only used that like on my nose and um, on my eyes and stuff because it was really oily and I didn't like it. Um, but so anyways, I've been using this entire line uh, for, like I said, almost a month. And um, I also have been using... Two weeks into it, I started using at night every other day the Retin-A gel that was prescribed to me by my um, dermatologist. Um, so I would do, I would still do the wash and everything with the Shiseido, um, but then after the wash, I would just use the Retin-A gel every other night um, because it is a little harsh and um, I wasn't sure how it was going to work with my skin. So, anyways, I will do some before pictures, but I did do a video before of the dark spots. Um, my main problem areas were my forehead, uh, right here, and the lighting is really good in here. So, it's showing pretty much, I mean, you can still see the dark spots. Uh, and the spots were right here as well. They've dramatically lightened um, and so, unfortunately, the Shiseido line is super expensive, and I don't think that I will um, purchase the full size of them. I think the Retin-A that I'm using is going to be, it's helping with wrinkles, and it's also supposed to uh, lighten the spot. So I think... Um, this alone is what I will continue to use, um, but I do think the Shiseido works. I've, I have seen dramatic um, lightening of my dark spots, so unfortunately, I think if you have the money and you can spend it, great, and you should because I think it really works. However, I just don't think that I'll be able to afford to use it, so... Uh, but from, you know, a little goes a long way, so I'm really surprised because this foam... Um, the cleansing foam I use with my facial brush and you just use a pea sized amount and it like there's so much um, that like you know foams up on your face so it's awesome this is still like half full so I'll continue to use this and I'll continue to use all these products until I'm finished with them along with my Retin-A uh, my skin's starting to get used to the Retin-A I just got another uh, prescription so um, you know, this is only $10 with my insurance, so if you have insurance, the Retin-A is definitely going to help with age spots, acne spots, and, uh, you know, any kind of dark spots, so, uh, and wrinkles. It's been helping a lot with my um, eye wrinkles when I would smile. Um, my crow's feet were really bad, and they're, uh, you know, pretty much gone, so that's been awesome. I really have loved that. Uh, but other than that, I just wanted to give that update that I definitely would recommend the White Lucent line from Shiseido. I just unfortunately can't afford it, so I'm going to stick with the Retin-A. But uh, I'm still looking for some products 
that are, you know, a little bit more affordable. So if you guys have any recommendations, uh, please comment below and let me know if you have any recommendations that you've used that are a little less expensive. Uh, but other than that, yeah, thumbs up for the Shiseido. I think it's awesome. I think it works. And if I had the money to do it, I would definitely resort to that. Uh, but uh, And maybe in the future I will if the Retin-A alone doesn't work. But I'm kind of searching around to find products uh, that are a little bit more in my price range. So um, other than that, that's all I have to report. Um, I think um, it's definitely done a difference. But my spots are still there. Um, and up here, they just seem to be worse. My, these ones just kind of look like freckles. I can get away with it. These ones are just kind of odd, random ones. Um, but I did have some right here that were really dark that have totally lightened up. And right here, they were pretty dark. So I'm happy. I'm really happy with the, um, with the outcome of it. But anyways, uh, let me know if, yeah, definitely if you guys have any recommendations for me. And I will, you know, do another update if I find something else or um, maybe in another month to see if the Retin-A has totally, you know, done the job. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.